Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I figured I'd do something really relaxed and just kind of hang out. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I have no idea what look I'm going to be doing yet. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. I do have somewhere to be after this so I'm not going to do anything too crazy. So yeah, if you guys want to hang out then just keep on watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and jump into the video because I tend to ramble. Alright, so my face is completely clean and bare, so I'm going to go in with some moisturizer really quickly. I just used the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. Let me get that all over. Uh-oh, I got some in my hair. Yikes. Low-key, is anyone going to talk about how it's like pretty hard to film yourself doing makeup? That's why most of my videos are just like me hanging out and talking to you guys because makeup tutorials are low-key stressful to film but it's okay we're here we're doing it it's gonna be okay so the moisturizer is on lately my skin has been so dry like I hate it I would rather have oily skin than dry skin personally I need to put something on my lips because they look really crusty I'm not gonna lie Alright, now that I have something in my lips and they look just like the teeniest bit less crusty. Today, I feel like I'm going to do my eyes first. I never do my eyes first, but um, we're just going to do that today. I'm going to take my concealer and prime my eyelids. It's honestly so... <laughs> I look great. It's honestly so hard to do eyeshadow when you have eyelash extensions like really hard or at least for me i don't know for other people i just like get so scared i'm gonna mess up my eyelash extensions so i'm like extra careful honestly how crazy do i look on a scale from one to that shit crazy i'm thinking that shit crazy so i'm gonna set that really quickly I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Today I'm going to go in with the KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette. I don't think you can really see that. But it is her classic eyeshadow palette and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So I'm just going to go in with that. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M504. And I'm going to take this light brown shade and start dusting it in my crease so what's everyone been up to I just got back from Chicago maybe like a couple of days ago and I had so much fun hold on I literally can't talk and do my makeup at the same time I was saying I had so much fun. Chicago has like the nicest people and the best food. So um, I tried deep dish pizza for the first time. It was delicious, lived up to all my standards and we did a lot of fun things. I went with, I technically went for work with my friend Tiffany and my friend Kelly. Uh, it wasn't really work in my head, I'm gonna be honest with you, but still, it was really nice and it was really fun. Uh, we went to see the bean, we went to do like all the touristy things, but it was so cold. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab my Morphe M441 brush and then I'm gonna dip into I think I'm gonna dip into this like darker shade right here. I'm gonna pop that on the outer corners. Um but Chicago is literally so cold. I thought I was gonna die multiple times. Like I don't know if it's just because I'm from the south and like anything below 60 degrees is freezing to me. I know, don't make fun of me. But um, it was so cold there. And the funny thing is, all the locals we ran into, they, they'd ask us where we were from. And we would say, like, you know, we're from Georgia. And they would ask us if we're cold. And we're like, yeah, we're freezing. And they're like, oh, this is nothing. Like, it's only 20 degrees. I was like, are you okay? So like, oh, yeah, it gets so much colder than this. This is nothing. You guys got lucky. And I was like, okay, get me out of here. Literally, people were walking around in, like, shorts with no jacket. I was so confused. Like, every time someone walked by in shorts, I was like, yeah, you're a local. You're definitely a local. Because I would never, at some points, I was wearing, like, three different shirts and, like, 
two jackets, so anyways. My dog is drinking water. Love that for me. Okay, I think I'm good with my eyes for now. I'm probably going to go back to them in just a second, but we're good for now. So I'm going to go in with my primer. I just use the Hydro Milk Grip Primer. It's my favorite primer right now, and I'm just going to apply that to my face. All right, I'm just going to let that sit for a couple seconds because it tells you to on somewhere. I don't know if it tells you to or if I just made that up. I don't know, but I'm going to let it sit for a couple of seconds and then I'll go in with my foundation. Has anything else happened in my life? I don't think so. Not really. I'm going to grab my Mario spray and just spray my beauty blender and then I'm going to start applying my foundation. Did I tell you guys what foundation I went in with? I don't remember. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It looks like this. And I have mine in the shade 6.5. I love this foundation. It's my favorite foundation. So I'm actually gonna go back in with the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. And I'm gonna take like the teeniest little pump of that onto the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my beauty sponge or beauty blender, whatever you call it, and I'm just going to dab this on the areas where I need a little extra coverage. So like right here, I have a lot of discoloration and like a couple blemishes. And then I always get my chin. And then I'm going to conceal really quickly. Um... I actually ran out of my correct concealer shades, so please excuse me, I'm about to mix two. I'm just like all over the place. Another one. I'm like so bad at this talking and doing my makeup thing, but whatever. I look like really pale on camera and I don't in person, but that's fine. I'm just gonna set my face really quickly. By the way, I love the little beauty sponges from Morphe that um, Morphe and Jeffrey came out with, like the little mini ones. I think they're perfect. They're like so good at getting underneath your eyes and like really getting in there, you know? I look so pale right now, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I still use the Hula Benefit bronzer. I'm actually gonna take my big fluffy Morphe R2 brush. This is my um, bronzer brush. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M173 brush, dip into the bronzer and tap it off. And then I'm going to place a little bronzer underneath my lip because that helps it make a little it look a little bit more full. Now I'm gonna do my nose as well. I wouldn't say I contour my nose like super dramatically or anything. There's like really no rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of slap it on there, honestly. I need to do my eyebrows really quickly. I cannot believe I forgot about my eyebrows for this long. So I'm just gonna brush them through really quick. And I just used the Anastasia Brow Dip or whatever it's called. I have mine in the shade Ebony. I used the Morphe M165 to do my eyebrows. It's like a little angled brush. I'm going to dip into the pan and... What else have I been watching on TV? Oh my gosh, I just finished the first season of You. I know I'm like so far behind and everyone else has already seen it, 
everyone else has already seen the new season actually but spoiler alert i guess if you haven't seen um you yet and you're planning on it or if you're still in the first season then just like stop watching the video right now or fast forward but um i just finished it and for some reason i don't think beck is dead does anyone else think beck is like still alive like i just can't believe that she's dead you know but it's crazy how well that show's written because I root for Joe. Like I'm like, oh my God, Beck, how could you like how could you cheat with your therapist? How dare you? Meanwhile, like Joe's out there killing people, and I don't think twice about it. You know, it really has you rooting for the bad guy. All right, now that my eyebrows are on, I can finally go back to my eyes. I'm gonna dip back into my KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and start working on my lower lash line. I could never not put shadow on my lower lash line. Like, I feel like it's like a part of who I am as a person. Okay, I'm gonna dip into my shade and light Kat Von D contour palette and I'm just gonna take the highlighter shade and I think it's in the shade, let me find out for you guys, Lyric and I'm just gonna take that on a little flat brush and highlight my um, brow bone. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. I just used the MAC blush in Melba still my favorite blush of like all time so we are almost at the end I'm gonna go in with my highlighter I'm gonna go in with my highlighter next and then I'm gonna grab my beauty sponge this is my morphe one I'm gonna dip into the highlighter and then apply it to my cheeks or my cheekbone, whatever you call it. I don't know. Wow, hashtag beauty guru. I'm actually going to take a highlighter brush and just go over top of that a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna go in actually with the Becca Cosmetics um, Champagne Pop. Do a little highlight in my inner corner. We're almost done. I'm gonna set my brows really quickly. I use the boy brow to set my brows. I know it's not technically like used for that, but whatever. I do what I want, you know? And then let me wipe off my lip balm. Okay, now I'm going to go in with lips. Everyone has recently been talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. It's their lip pencil. And, um, you know, I had to pick it up because everyone was talking about it. So I had to see what the big fuss was about. I got mine in the shade Iconic Nude, which are you even surprised? If it's nude, like I have it. I'm gonna use my smaller mirror. I feel like I always end up filling my entire lip in, but that's okay. I also picked up another KKW Beauty Creme Lipstick. I got this one in Nude 3.5. So we're going to try it out today because it's the only lipstick I brought out here with me. Um, it looks like this. Her packaging is so cute. Honestly, in my head, um, Kim Kardashian can do no wrong. I know a lot of people don't like that family, but I think they're, I think they're like the best. And did you guys see... Her house is my dream house. I just watched the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West interview about their home. And, oh, gives me all the feels. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and apply this now. It 
So that is the lip color on my lips. I like it. It's a little dark for me personally. I typically go with a little bit of a lighter nude, um, but honestly, I'm the palest I've ever been. So in the summer, it'll probably be a really nice color on me. So we're gonna finish the look off with some setting spray. I'm just gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm gonna let that dry. Oh my God, you guys, I, like turned off the camera and I was done filming and I was just like messing around with my makeup a little bit like I added a, a little wing and I was looking and I realized I literally didn't put bottom mascara on like who even am I I'm gonna add it right now I'm literally a crazy person I'm just gonna go in with my great lash by Maybelline and pop some mascara on these puppies That's officially the end of the video. I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, even though I'm a hot mess. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. If it says if it's got the it's if it's. Am I okay? <laughs>